One of the largest industrial employers in western North Carolina is looking at a brighter future. Governor Pat McCrory approves a $12 million grant for the Evergreen Packaging Paper Mill in Canton. News 13's Holt Hanselman tells us about that money and what it'll do to help the local economy and the environment. The EPA has ordered this plan to update some high-polluting boilers with cleaner gas-powered ones. Now that's a $50 million project made a lot easier with this grant money the governor has just approved. And folks in this community tell us that makes a difference for everyone. I guess the American dream lived out in Canton is a, is a paper mill. For many in Canton, the steady stream of smoke coming from this mill is a sign their economy is still chugging along. It's the biggest industry around here. It's, it's the biggest opportunity a lot of people have had. Five generations of Austin Thompson's family have kept the production going, and he hopes to pass down that pride in his work. To have this in a healthy uh, state to pass on to our children, uh, my child or, or in anybody's child. Um, I think that's that's number one. It's paramount. Now state leaders have stepped in to protect both the economy and the environment. We've always believed in manufacturing, past, present, and we think manufacturing, especially in the western part of the state, has a great future. As the governor approved a much needed $12 million for the project, he's also ensuring some 1,200 jobs in the community. The effects of which go round and round in Haywood County. And dozens gather at Camp Hope this weekend to celebrate their successes. These people are the ones that come and buy my products, you know. Some local business owners say they're also celebrating hope for their future. Because they're employed, gainfully employed, then we can stay here and, and live a good life. Long live tomorrow's may you. Carry on. At the end of the day, that paper mill is a beating heart of this community. But the effort is not over yet. This mill has until 2016 to get the new units installed and still more than $30 million left to come up with. Encanted, Hope Hanselman, News 13.